We all know very well that we are bombarded by information. And in fact, most of us feel that there's just too much of it around. We can measure how much information enters our brains by way of our senses, how much goes in through our eyes, how much through our ears, our noses, our mouths, and our skin. By counting up the number of receptors on each sensory organ, for instance, how many visual cells the eye has, or how many taste buds the tongue has, and adding that to the number of signals that nerve connections send from the sensory organs to the brain, scientists can calculate how much information enters our brain every second. This short explanation concentrates on just two of the senses, sight and hearing. Let's see how much information enters the brain through our eyes and our ears and find out just what the brain does with it. When they are counting up how much stuff we can absorb, cognitive scientists use the same unit of measurement as computer engineers, bits per second. A bit is a binary digit. It's either a 1, representing on, or it's a 0, representing off. Science tells us that the eye receives 10 million bits of information every second. That's about the same amount of information per second that a computer is dealing with when it's downloading a page over a fast web connection. But unlike a computer, the brain throws most of it away and processes only a tiny amount. In fact, our brains process only 40 bits of the original 10 million that came in through the eyes. Using the same method of calculation, scientists know that our ears receive 100,000 bits of information every second. But the brain throws most of that away too. In fact, it processes only 30 bits of the original 100,000 that went in. So just looking at these two senses, what goes into our brains is much more than the brain cares to process. This is how much goes in and this is actually used. What gets discarded is called X-formation. So, while computers need all the information they can get, and who doesn't want more additional processing power in their computer, the brain takes a look at what comes in and decides just how little it needs to make a decision, how little it can get away with and still function. So why don't designers use this knowledge? If so much information becomes X-formation, shouldn't designers put less stuff into their work? Perhaps it's time for a modest update of the old cliché.